We get our first glimpses of the dev loop. Justin Kahn launches an incubator. Goodyear tires can read and adapt to the road and more. It's Tuesday, March 7th, and this is Crunch Report. What up, TechCrunch land? Hope all you people are doing well. Let's get into it. Ever since Elon Musk proposed the first Hyperloop, everyone has been so hyped. Then, when he open sourced his idea, hype. Then companies were built around the idea, hype. Now one of those companies released the first images of its test track being built in the Nevada desert. So hype. Hyperloop One's so-called dev loop site is under construction currently, and the company released the first images and video of its progress this morning. As you can see from the photos, that's a big stretch of tubing. The goal is to get a test run in sometime in the first half of this year, using the 500 meter long dev loop as a proof of concept to prepare for the construction of its first commercial installation, which is set to link up Dubai and Abu Dhabi across a roughly 100 mile stretch. So hype! Sometimes you just have to give zero Fs and do whatever you want. Serial entrepreneur and friend of the show, Justin Kahn, best known for co-founding Twitch, Justin.tv and Social Cam has left his position as a partner at Y Combinator to start his own startup incubator program. Khan told TechCrunch, the venture is called Zero F, think zero to funding. And the idea is to take a very hands-on approach to building new startups in Silicon Valley. Come on, zero to F, zero to funding, zero Fs given. Zero Fs given, yeah! Entrepreneurship startups, what a fair zero! The incubator is starting out with initial three companies. Whale, the Q&A video app that Khan helped launch last year, online pharmacy startup Scriptdash, and one as yet unnamed venture that Khan said will revolutionize the way law firms work. Best of luck, Jay Khan and teams on the ventures. Next up, drama. And fortunately for all of us, it's not the Travis Kalanick kind. This time it's Bose and Doppler Labs. Doppler Labs, makers of the Hear One augmented hearing earbuds, are accusing Bose of copying their designs for their similar product, Hear Phones. In the suit, Doppler alleges that Bose took extra steps to get a hold of Doppler's products as early backers of their Kickstarter. And Doppler says that they met with Bose under the guise of a strategic partnership, but believe that Bose really set up the meeting to steal precious secrets. Man, it's all Bose did this, Bose did that. It's gonna be a while before we cut through all of this and figure out what really happened. But if Bose did do it, come on, wouldn't you have been better off just placing microphones at the Doppler office and listening in? Very much still illegal, but it would have made for a better story. I think the more things powered by machine learning, the better. Water bottles that can change opacity by their contents, bicycles that can balance by themselves, cameras with object recognition. I wonder what, hmm, I've got it. Wheels that use machine learning to adapt to road conditions. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who on earth would think of that? Goodyear, yeah, sorry guys, that's not my idea, but it's a cool one at that. The company is using sensors embedded in the tire to collect data that activates built-in actuators to physically change the shape of the treads on the tire. Though, this begs the question, if one tire can do the job of five tires, is that bad for Goodyear? Unless the one tire costs a heck of a lot more. Well, I guess that's something to worry about in the future for now. It's all about that branding swag. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every week at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And we'll see you tomorrow. So keep acting them out. Peace.